Hi, everybody. You want to learn how to get more iron in your diet and have a wonderful meal in the process? I hope you keep watching this video because I'm going to be sharing you how to get iron in your diet plus a fantastic meal that's really quite frugal when you have a very cheap and frugal kind of meat. Everybody and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to share with you different ways that you can get iron into your life. So a lot of people have been asking, how do I incorporate more iron? As women, especially in certain ages of women, we need iron. Not everybody wants to take an iron supplement. Iron supplements can make you constipated and iron supplements may not be for everyone. And I'm going to share with you how you can put some iron back into your life. The easiest thing to do is cook with cast iron. Cooking with cast iron, this is one simple way that you can add iron back into your life. Cast iron is iron. <laughs> and when you cook food this way, it actually, some of the iron will leach into your food. What is another way that's really easy, economical, to add iron? Blackstrap molasses. Now, blackstrap molasses is high in iron. Now, this is a sugar, so if you can't have sugar, you may not want to try this, but one tablespoon in a glass of milk a day will give you high amounts of iron. You can also eat red beets. Red beets are also high in iron, along with spinach. But if you're like me and you do like to eat a little bit of meat, now I only eat red meat probably about once a week. Today I'm going to make a steak. It only costs about $7.68 and that gives us two steaks. That would be enough for my husband and I. So for about $4 each, we will be eating a steak. Red meat really can give you high iron if it's something that you need. But not everybody eats meat. And so if you're a vegetarian, you can always cook with your cast iron. You can take some blackstrap molasses. You can eat all kinds of fruits, different vegetables that are high in iron. All right, everyone, I'm going to go into the kitchen and I'm going to cook us up a steak. Now, this is a very tough cut of meat because it is cheap. So the better cut of meat you have, the more expensive you're going to pay. But if we add certain ingredients, we can make the steak quite tasty. So follow me into the kitchen and we're going to make ourselves a meal. Another food that's high in iron are raisins. So if you want to eat some raisins with a meal or even some raisin bread, that can give you a little iron as well. Go out to the garden and pick a pepper which we will add to the steak and that just gives us more nutrients so I thought I would add some peppers so in our steak we have mushrooms we have onions and then we have peppers and then I'm gonna make mashed potatoes mmm sounds good I'm inviting you to lunch I really try to go the all-natural approach as much as I possibly can and so trying to put iron into my diet. This way it works really well because the iron in your diet, if you're having it a natural way, your body absorbs it so much quicker. Now, of course, there's some people who need much more iron than what eating these kind of foods can do. But generally, putting vitamins into your body through ways of cooking is usually the best.
I see I have lots of cucumbers I need to be picking. A lot of them. I have not been out in the garden for close to a week and everything is becoming mature. I should have brought a basket. Every time I come out into the garden now, I should have my own baskets. Oh well, let's see if I can grab them all. In fact, let me go get a basket because I have a lot, a lot of stuff to pick. Look at my beautiful flowers. Gorgeous. All right. Look at all the pretty tomatoes. They're just not ready yet. So I will be canning pickles, that's for sure. Oh my goodness, they got ripe quick. what happens when you go out to the garden. It then ends up being so much more than what you thought. All right, let me harvest all these pickles. The more you pick things, the more they will continue to grow. So it's very important to harvest your items. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Only on two plants. All right. We got our pepper. And let's go and make it. Now we're going to add our pepper. Now I'm just going to let that cook for a little bit while I work on the mashed potatoes. All right, here are the potatoes peeled and in cold water overnight. them a little smaller. All right, I'm gonna boil them up. I'm gonna take a moment to rest a little bit and I'll get back to you in just a moment. We have some home raised smashed potatoes. These were garden potatoes. We have some red beets that I canned, a few tomatoes, and then a steak. This is, would be a, considered a high iron meal. So if you want to get a little more iron in, in your diet, this would be the meal to make. Hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. Bye everybody. Now time to eat. Mm-mm. Winner, winner. Steak dinner. Bye, everybody.